Okay, in this video, I want to talk about uh, teaching companies, Professor Bart D. Ehrman. This guy um, is um, not a very good scholar, and I think that it's an error on the part of teaching company to have this guy uh, representing or being representing his material. Uh, in their repertoire of courses because his scholarship is so poor. And I'll give you some specifics. He's the guy who says when Jesus refers to the Son of Man coming, that Jesus is, re is talking about some mysterious Son of Man person. But anybody with as much as a third grade education could tell you that Jesus is referring to himself in the third person. This is how poor the scholarship is on the part of Bart Ehrman. Now, um, I don't think that he could act possibly be that stupid, so really what he's doing is he's being purposely deceitful. Uh, he's a child of Satan, and he's doing the work of Satan. Now, um, he has a course here, um, Lost Christianities, or at least it's a lecture called Lost uh, Christianities, and he speaks about scriptures that might have become part of the Bible. Well, the Gnostic Gospels, Infancy Gospels, Coptic Gospel of Thomas, Secret Gospel of Mark, and so forth, those things were never seriously considered. They would not have been um, a part of the Bible. It would never would have happened in the first place. Um, the early church had um, scripture circulating by the apostles and so forth. And it was easy to recognize that the apostles' work is authentic because it harmonized with the larger context provided by the Jewish um, scriptures. So it wasn't something that was foreign to the Jewish scriptures. These things that um, Professor Ehrman is citing Gnostic Gospels and so forth um, do not even harmonize with uh, the Jewish scriptures in the first place. This is why they rejected us. He's trying to resurrect um, something that was rejected intel um, with intellectual honesty in the first century. Um, this would be like saying suppose that in 1990 somebody wrote an authentic a biography of Elvis Presley. But somebody else found um, articles from 1976, 1977, 1979, shortly after he died, that um, from tabloids, like the National Star or something like that, that, that says that, that you know Elvis has been cited in the laundromat, he gave birth, um, he sired an alien child, he, he gave birth to an alien, um, um, th uh, through a, you know, intercourse with uh, some space being or something like that. And these should have been included in the, um, the official biography of Elvis Presley in terms of what really happened to him uh, after his death. And, you know, we would consider, well, that's ridiculous. Well, so is er Ehrman's suggestion that, um, you know, the, Cop the, the Coptic Gospel of Thomas, for instance, or the Gnostic Gospels uh, should be seriously considered for inclusion in the Bible. Now, if Professor Ehrman wanted to address serious problems with Christian church, he could have um, done what um, Frank Viola and George Barna, I want to show you this book here, it's called uh, Pagan Christianity. And um, these guys go take the trouble to cite the various um, practices that were picked up from pagan uh, religions and incorporated into Christian practice. Everything from having a pastor or a priest to having a specific building. Of course, things like you know sacrificial mass and so forth really do not have the roots in in the Jewish scriptures, but have their roots in, in the surrounding pagan culture. Now, I wanted to recommend for further information on this. This is, um, get that in front of the camera there. 
This is a good friend of mine's um, blog spot. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash the reformer comments dot blogspot dot com. And you can pick up the discussion with him on um, things like the house church and what the church really should be doing. I think I'm going to hold that up for the rest of the content of the video because then I might be able to get it as my still shot for for the video for this particular video. But anyways, that's what you want to do. Get in touch with this guy here, the reformer comments, blogspot.com, and um, discuss uh, things like the house church, what the church really should be doing, um, how the church really should be structured, and so forth. And, you know, with a little bit of study, you'll find that there's been quite a bit of pagan influence and uh, the pagan influence um, is what's holding the church back in, in many ways. So the purpose of this video is to warn people once again about the teaching company and specific Bart Ehrman's um, courses because he's particularly a poor scholar and I'm not suggesting that you don't buy their materials. I buy their courses. Um, I enjoy the courses, but you know you can learn from the courses, and especially the religious courses, how the uh, liberal, um, non-believing professors are trying to influence and corrupt um, the Amer population of students in America. So that's what my warning is as far as the teaching company, specifically uh, Dr. Bart Ehrman. Um, he's a particularly, uh, talk about teaching company errors, he uh, is an error for them to actually have him. And uh, hopefully uh, they will resign his material and restore some of their dignity. So thanks for uh, listening and make sure you check out my friend, the reformer comments at blogspot dot com